Good night, Lily. You too. of your two male colleagues are $4,300 per month and $5,200 per month from Anonymous. How can this be? I'm only being paid $3,700 a month. I won't stand for this. Ledbetter received an anonymous note revealing the upsetting truth. All rise. Hear ye, hear ye, court is in session. All having business before this honorable court draw near, give attention, and you shall be heard. You may be seated. The plaintiff may now present their case. Thank you, Your Honor. We are here today because Miss Lily Ledbetter has been unjustly paid less than her male colleagues. She has been working at Goodyear Tire Company for 19 years. She works very hard at her job, for many hours each day. Her male colleagues, who work the same as Miss Ledbetter, have been paid $600 to $900 more than her per month. Plaintiff is asking for a compensation for this injustice that has occurred. Miss Ledbetter. Thank you. After the short recess, the defense may present their case. As you have heard from the plaintiff herself, Miss Ledbetter has been working at Goodyear Tire Company for 19 years. Never before has this complaint been brought up by Ledbetter. After 180 days of working without complaint of pay, the case is irrelevant. We move to dismiss this case. May I now call Ms. Ledbetter to stand, Your Honor? Yes, you may. $3.3 million in compensatory and punitive damages for the extremes of the nature of the pay discrimination to which Ms. Ledbetter had been subjected. This trial has been chosen by choice of Ms. Ledbetter to move further to the Supreme Court. Thank you. Case closed. Ledbetter was pleased with her success, yet she decided it was necessary to take the case further. She hoped her initial success would soon help women everywhere to earn equal pay when she would bring her case to the Supreme Court. 
she understood that it may not work as it was in the late teen 90s. And not a fair time for equality amongst genders. But Miss Ledbetter had hope, which helped her prosper in her fight for equal rights and equal pay. Little did Ledbetter know, the money she so fairly received was being taken back by the same people she believed knew what to do best, Supreme Court. What? What? No, no, I don't understand. You see, the money has already been given to me. This can't be. So, the Supreme Court is revoking my money, and just because it's been after 180 days? This is unacceptable. But this was far from the end of Ledbetter's efforts. She soon began speaking to politicians and government officials, convincing them to pass a Fair Pay Act. Hello, fellow brothers and sisters. My name is Lily Ledbetter, and I'm standing in front of you today because there is a need for change. You see, I have been discriminated against. I have worked at Goodyear Tire Company for 19 years. I worked long and hard until one day I found out that I was being paid significantly less than my male colleagues. And did they work harder than me? No. Did they work longer than me? No. So why were they being paid more than me? Well, the answer is simple. We are women and they are men. And because of this, I was treated unfairly. But I am not the only one. Women everywhere are being discriminated against, even as we speak. So thank you. Lightbetter's hard work and persuasive speeches paid off. The Fair Pay Act was passed in 2009 and was the first substantive piece of legislation signed by the President. The Act restores long-standing law and helps to ensure that individuals subjected to an unlawful pay discrimination are able to effectively assert their rights under the federal anti-discrimination laws. The Act also allows to access the validity of their claim, promotes voluntary compliance by employers, and responds to workplace realities. It provides future generations of workers fair treatment. Yes, it is. 
Thank you, Lily. You truly are an extraordinary woman with many followers of dozens of organizations. You've undeniably left an important legacy of the Fair Pay Act that affects the women of this wonderful nation today. Thanks once again for interviewing with us. It was my pleasure.